are now listening to the West Side of T H A AfterParty.com. Hi, I'm James Law Jr., producer and host of Extra Connections. Join me every Monday live at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, where I bring on people from all walks of life. I will connect you with people, places, things, and ideas. You'll never know who will stop by. That's Extra Connections every Monday on the West Side of the After Party Radio. See you at the party. Connections. Extra Connections. 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 It must be Monday, 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 Monday. It's Extra Connections here on the After Party Radio. I am James Lott Jr. I hear my voice. I really hear my voice today. And my voice is loud anyway, and I can't help it. I can really hear it. <clears throat> Interesting. Hi, you guys. Welcome to the show today. I'm so glad to be here. I made it. Some problems on the 405, so you LA people don't understand about that. There's some accidents, some tanker, something happened on what happened. And I live in Inglewood. It took me hard. I had to take the streets to get here. It's kind of crazy talk. But I made it for you out there, my connectors. So, okay, I have a great guest today, because a lot of guests out there have pictures. Trust me, I know you have pictures, because I'm an organizer, and I go to people's houses, and I see pictures everywhere, pictures everywhere, pictures, slides, um, di- picture di- discs with pictures on them. You know, in the old days, they had discs, pictures, discs. Um, also, you may want to do videos for these things. And I have friends nowadays who are doing videos for funerals, for quinceañeras, or things like that, when they have to do like a little special video for stuff. So I have somebody who actually does that. And I'm very excited. I met her through a Napo LA mixer. Uh, you guys hear me talk about Napo. I've had the president on here. I've had somebody else on here. So I've had Napo people on here many times, and she's a member of them too. And I, now the thing about, I want to say this about her that I love. I love this. When I ask for people's bios... I never thought this in my entire life. I love <laughs> learning this. She has it in third person and in first person. <laughs> that's so good. I never, I never thought of I never thought that's a great idea. So if you're reading it yourself, that's fine. But if someone else wants to read it, they can't read it as you. 
So I love that. So I want to read this because I, I think it's just, I think it's just fascinating. She, I'll say her name in a second, but she grew up surrounded by love and nestled between three siblings. A deep affinity for family stories was instilled from her from a very young age. It's important that I tell you that because we don't talk about why she's there. In 1979, the Iranian Revolution uprooted her family and came to L.A. L.A.? Mm -hmm. Or yeah, came to L.A., right? Yeah. L.A. So, said that her parents did bring all the photo albums. It's really funny. People always say, you grab your pictures. And they grab their pictures. They brought them here. So her love of photography has grown over the years. And she has a company called Picturely. That's right. And so they actually take your memories and you can actually, or well, actually, I'm going to let her tell you what she does when I interview her. But it's about your memories, your pictures, and making videos, and making, just, and just make it, and make it organized, and, have it, and just and be able to keep them in a place where they don't get ruined. And just, I mean, it's, it's, it's a great, I think it's a great idea. Hale Shoa, how are you? I'm great. Welcome. It's so great to be here. Thank you for having me. So first of all, I always say church announcements. First, a little housekeeping. We are on The After Party Radio. And that's T-H-A, not T-H-E, The After Party Radio. And they're everywhere on social media. So you can go to, I, you can go to uh, what's it, uh, Instagram, um, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter. They're all over the place. The After Party West, we're out here. Shout out to Brittany in the booth. She's taking, taking care of business for us, making sure that we look good and sound good, and you can see what we're doing. That's good. You can follow Extra Connections on Facebook at Extra Connections Show. That's the page there. And then we, after this is done, I podcast it and I YouTube it. So my YouTube channel is JLJ Media. Subscribe while you're there. And then it's also podcasted on iTunes, Speaker.com, and iHeartRadio. I think that's everything, right? I think so. On to you. How are you? I'm great. Photos. Photos. So Picturely, and I'll make sure it is, so it's a photo organization and design boutique preserving precious memories for families to enjoy for generations to come. Correct? That's right, yeah. And you and Alan do this. Yeah, me and my... My life, my heart partner. Your heart my partner, husband. I love that. I love that. Heart, I love heart partner. It's a great way. She loves it too. I love that. I do. I love that. Okay, so okay, so you came here from Iran as a kid, and your parents had the photo albums of your family yeah. and stuff like that. So you always like pictures. That was the kind of thing for you. You always just love yeah. pictures. Yeah, you know, I, and I think that's a huge part of our identity. Is you know when I see that with little kids right now is you know can I see your phone? Can I see pictures when I was baby? Yeah, you know, I have a four-year-old nephew who yeah. just can't get enough of seeing his baby oh, photos. I love it. I love it. And so I think that really is something that it's instilled in us, and it um, it sort of reinforces who we are. Is when we look at our grandparents and our if we, if we're lucky enough, our great grandparents. Yeah, I know. No, yeah. Um, so, and, and to hear those stories, to know that, you know, there's, there's something behind us. There's something that's elevated us to this point that we are. And pictures are just, you know, they speak a thousand words. They do. They do. Um, they and do. so a lot of people now, you know, with, with the, 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 with the whole onset of digital age, we take a lot of photos and we don't know what to do with them. Yes. So we're overwhelmed by the new stuff. Yes. And now we get overwhelmed by the old stuff. Yes. Because our old stuff gets stuck in photo albums and... Oh, no, not even that. In boxes. In boxes. Shoe boxes. We I see it. You can't see them. No. You know, even if they're in albums, they're not readily accessible. So we sort of manage it in a two-way. So okay. we sort of organize... We organize everything, but... We digitize what's analog, so you can have access to it digitally. And a lot of times we print what's digital. Oh, fun. okay. Because there is a thing about that too. Because once in a while, I get people in my life who are like, "I'm not a computer. I don't look at a computer. I don't do anything." So can, you, can I get a pic copy of a picture? I'm like, "Oh, I guess I gotta figure out how to do that." Yeah. It's been so it's been so long. I'm like, do I get photo paper and put it in my? I'm like, it's been so long since I printed out a picture. That's right. That's right. And, and, you know, back in the day, you know, at least with my mom, she used to make a photo album Yeah, oh, us. yeah, oh, yeah. You know, there's scrapbooks mm -hmm. of, you know, and little, they would take little memorabilia. Yes, You know, yes. and they, they would put it all in there. Mm -hmm. And and so, um, so now a lot of people are going back to that, wanting to have a photo album of their year or that special occasion, whether it's a birthday, senior, as you mentioned, yes. or bar mitzvah, bat mitzvah. Yes. That's you. Look at her. I, just, I just pulled up the, the things. So it's us. I want to see us. <laughs> uh, but no, but it's true. Because, but you brought just a really good point about how people do want printed pictures sometimes. People still like frames. Absolutely. 
Yeah. They want a I, picture put in a frame. That's right. They still sell frames. They get frames everywhere. That's right. And, uh, you know, energetically, it's really great to change the photos in your frames every six months. And why every six months? Because you start actually not noticing the pictures that are in the frames after about six okay. months. Okay, I like that. Okay. And so it's great to have that in mind that if you have picture frames in, in a place that you love, whether it's the place where you walk in or wherever it is, in your bedroom, on the wall, just make sure you change it out. You know, every six months may not be suitable, but maybe every year, every year and a half, um, just so you keep it fresh and so you notice it. Um, and it, you, you know, you're giving it energy and it gives you energy. I have a question. What do you feel about um, the digital frames that they have out now? I love okay. the digital frames. I think they're great because not only can you contribute to your own digital frame, but your family can contribute. Yeah. So if you have family that don't live in the same area as you, you know, maybe your children or grandkids mm -hmm. live far away, um, a lot of them you can set it up where yeah. they can just contribute to your digital frame. And I love those. And they sort of pop up, and it's it's like a, a, a burst of surprise. I like that. Yeah. Okay, so what made you decide to start a business with pictures and picture management? Well, I... Um, as you mentioned from my bio, yeah. uh, my family was able to save our photos um, when they left the revolution. They, didn't, they weren't able to bring much, but yeah. the photos they were able to bring. Um, and so through the years, my background um, was in advertising and you know, I had access to media management, essentially. You know, yeah. We had scanners and we had oh, yeah. great fast computers. So I slowly uh, started to s scan and, and preserve uh, my own family photos. Okay, okay. And I've been doing this now just for my own family for the last 15 years. Wow, okay. Um, and about 20 years ago, I was encouraged to buy a camera. And so I started taking pictures. So I was taking pictures, I was scanning pictures, and I was bringing it all together, and everyone was so happy. And I could do albums. I've been doing albums for, uh, for years. And every time I would present an album to a family member or my friends, they would just start crying. And it was just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, my heart would just be yeah, filled yeah, with yeah, joy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, you know, because again, it's, it's who we are. It's just a reminder of who we are when yeah. we look at our photos. Yeah. Um, and so last year, the end of last year, I d actually decided to leave advertising and pursue Picturely wow. full time. Was that, sc was that scary? A lot of us come from other it's things. It's still scary. <laughs> It's still scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We all come from other things. Like, a lot of us came into this, these businesses from other stuff that yeah. was more, you know, stable. That's right. Yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so, you just, did you ever think you'd be an uh, entrepreneur? I mean. Yeah, deep down, I thought, well, you know, I, I want to be my own boss. Yeah. Biatch. Yeah, okay. That's my boss <laughs> bitch. That's my boss bitch, BB. Hashtag. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. um, so HBIC. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right, kids. Mm -hmm. I don't know how PG we have to be. Yeah, that part's either. fine. That part's fine. You see, like, girls, like, who was like, girl? Go ahead. It's girl power. It's fine. Um, so yeah, I, I, you know, and there's 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 a lot that I want to be able to accomplish for me. Yeah. I accomplished a lot for other businesses. You know, I was you know, I was the global uh, operations director for Jaguar Land Rover for go. the wow. last three years, wow. and it was a great job. And I got to travel, and I got to really make a dent on how they uh, do certain things, Good. especially for the dealerships, which Good. was awesome. Good. Uh, and I thought, you know, I could take this this knowledge that I have and build my own business. Mm -hmm. Because it's 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 media management at the end yeah, of the day. Yeah, it is. It so is. whether the media is a client's photos or Jaguar Land Rover films and mm -hmm. you know their assets. Okay, I like that. I mean, but I know a lot. Like I said a lot of us who come to these businesses, we come from other stuff, and we're taking a leap of faith and doing something that we love. You're taking something that you love, and you want to make it into a business. I encourage people to do that if you can. That's do right. That. That'd be good. Especially ladies. Yeah, come on, ladies. We need more ladies in charge. You guys run things anyway, for the most part. Like, oh. come on. We need we need more boss bitches. That's right, we do. Mm -hmm, we do. I totally I totally agree with that. I completely agree with that. I do. And there's some great ladies out there who are in charge. There's some great ladies that we both know that are in charge doing that. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna go through like I'm a client and, and, and a little later. But I want to find out how you got involved with Napo. Absolutely. Because we know each other from Napo. We're both Napo members. I want to find out how you got involved with them. How did you find out they were there and all that kind of stuff? Um, I uh, talked to other Ford organizers and I was sort of asking around. 
regarding how they get business. Okay. And a couple of them said, oh, you know, a natural way of, of connecting to clients is through home organizers. Because many of them don't really want to deal with pictures because really photo organization is its own thing. Yes. Um, it's, uh, it's very complicated. It's time consuming. And, um, and so I, uh, that's why I joined NAPO. Yes. Good. Yeah. You find that, so you talk to some other photo organizers, they mention NAPO to you. Did you go online, look at them up, and kind of see what they were doing, kind of see what's right. going on? You did that. And I reached out to many of the organizers okay. who I found on the NAPO website. Yes. And I actually connected in person with Laura Ellis. Laura Ellis, yes. I know Laura Ellis. Hi, Laura. Hi, Laura. Laura. <laughs> yes, Laura. And she was really great. She was very instrumental, and she's been doing this a while. Yes, I'm yes. A, I'm a newbie entrepreneur. Yeah. Um, you know, as many of you have been doing this for years. Yeah. And so um, we connected. We made a... Uh, actually, a, a great friendship as well, Good. and uh, I've gotten a really great client from her, which I've been ever so grateful. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's the thing about Napo. I always support them, of course, because I'm a Napo member. Connections can be made. That's what's that's so good right. about being part of an organization that's in your in your industry. I think it's something everybody should look into. Whether it's Napo or any kind of industry you're in, you should look into see what, who's out there. You never know what's going to happen for you. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to pretend I'm a client. And have her talk us through so you guys get an idea of what exactly Picturely does. This is Extra Connections on the After Party Radio. We'll be right back. And we are back. It's Extra Connections. That's one of my... Okay, so you guys, you're hearing first. No one else. I brought this to you guys. You're hearing two of my new songs from my new album coming out on October 15th. The album is called Salty Clouds and Sunflower Dreams. And it's with the third dimension. It's James Green, the third dimension. And that song is Angels Everywhere. And at the next week, you're going to hear one of my other songs um, that's from the album that's new. And I'll tell you about that afterwards, too. So I'm very excited. Excellent. I know I do music. She was like, you do music too? I do everything. I do everything. She's funny. I do everything. And I was dancing in the background. Like, hey, get down, everybody, get down. <laughs> we're here. We're talking with the 
owner, founder, co-runner of Picture League. <laughs> I guess I'm not going to put a word in there. And head B. Okay. So let's, okay, let's talk about uh, I'm a client. I contact you. Actually, how can I contact you? Let's start. This is really simple. How do I contact you? The best way to is to go on our website, www.picturely. <laughs> yes. It's without an E. Uh, P I C T U R L I dot com. Mm -hmm. So I find you. I I put your websites. It's nice. I saw different things that go on there. So I contact you, and then you contact me. What is the next step after that? So we we try to really discern what the pain point is for okay. the client. Okay. So some people are really overwhelmed by their digital photos. Some people have boxes and boxes of analog photos and videos, and they don't know what to do with. And some people have it all. Um, and some people just want things organized and others want things organized and want to be able to have access to it from so their I want phone. That. So I want that. I want, I want, I have, I have four shoe boxes full of analog photos. Yep. How can I have them organized and somewhere where I can reach them? So the first, uh, the first part of any organization for, fo for photos is to gather everything. So we gather everything and um, we determine, you know, I including everything in albums, everything in picture frames. A lot of people forget that they're actually their most precious photos actually might be on their wall. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. or, mm -hmm. or on their mantle that they didn't realize, but it's that one and only picture of their grandpa. Yeah, no, yeah, definitely. So you're going to put it in a picture frame. Right, no, right. But again, after six months to a year, you kind of forget mm -hmm. that you have that picture, no, which is why we need to. I found a picture today. So funny. I was clearing off a shelf in my bedroom. I saw this little, this little tiny frame, half size of my phone, and my niece, Makayla Grace. It was uh, a baby picture from five years ago. Now she's in school five years ago. They were just sitting there, a little picture frame. Mm -hmm. So it's funny we talk about that. It's like, oh, yeah, okay, I forgot I had that. How exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so we gather everything and and then we sort of review what what your goal is for your pictures and um, obviously we want to make sure things are organized either by theme or chronologically. Okay, okay. Um, so you and the client, you and I would sit down and decide which one, I guess. Right. Okay. A lot of clients don't even, they get overwhelmed by okay. that and they can trust us to have a, okay. a good eye okay. to pick out the better photos, the best photos. And, and so we organize everything, we curate it, and, and then we review everything with the client. And once they're okay with everything uh, that we've curated, then we get to digitizing it. Okay. And that's where the magic is. I'm excited about that part. So you, okay, so now we did all, we, we have it by theme, we have it by this, by that, by maybe, by, maybe it's chronological, and we have it all by from when I was one year old to I'm 50, got all ready. So now the digitation begins, right? Right. So then we digitize it, and um, and then we we never ever we we change the information of the files. Okay. So and that's where that's the magic is that you're not going to get something from us that's called IMG underscore one two three dot JPG, oh, right? Yeah, thank God. Because you're not going to be able to say like, no. what is that? Right. Why am I right. have seventy thousand right. photos that are all begin with IMG? Uh, so we yeah. change the date of every file. Okay. We change the name. We add information of who, what, where to the file. Wow. So and it's all the information that we get from our clients, and that way we can change the the, uh, and then we introduce it. To either we make a lot. A lot of times we make a website for our clients, oh. a private uh, family website yes, yes. that has different access. You know, it could be um, completely hidden, or you can open it to the world, or you wow. can have it password protected, and it's it's great. It's awesome. Wow. And That's most of our clients have gone that route. Of, that makes sense. Of that, doing makes sense. It. that makes sense. They want to share with their family, so it's almost like when you go on Instagram. You can set your thing to private. That's right. You can set it to, you know, or certain family or close friends can see certain things. I, I, I love that idea. Yeah. Idea. So you basically will get a, a, a completely curated, digitized, searchable, and accessible li digital library of wow. your entire collection. That's crazy. It's really, it. it's really great. Wow. Now, if we want to do a legacy video, let's talk about that. Okay, so legacy video is, um, say you have certain things that you've never asked your mom or your grandma, or your grandpa, or your uncle, your kids, and we have a list of over 400 questions Dang. that we kind of actually don't even want to tell the client before we film it because okay. we want to be able to capture that 
element of surprise. So I can't ask you any sample questions, then, can I? Because it'll give it away. It'll give it away. Well, I can. I can tell you a little like, bit. I, like, like you're asking so, me. Like you're asking me. Asking, I'm sitting here going, okay. You'll do a name with somebody. Ask me, ask me like at least two questions, like kind of. So, it, so we j we are about to do a, a legacy film for one of our clients who's ninety two. Wow. And he's been around. Okay. And he's still super sharp. Okay. And so we're gonna start with really seeing what he remembers from his childhood. Like oh, wow. literally, what did your bedroom look like? What's your earliest memory wow. of your bedroom? Do you remember color of the walls? Do you remember what your mom used to make? What was your favorite meal? So really to paint the picture of their legacy. It's not necessarily about what have you done in your life, you know, like accomplishments and successes, yeah. which a lot of people immediately go to that right, point. Right. But it's really to paint the picture of your life, your life, like the real stuff, the, th the things that we typically on a day to day basis don't pay attention to unless somebody actually brings you to that point. And it's like, oh, I remember my grandma. I remember her skirt. You know, and the things that come out in legacy videos is quite incredible. I'm thinking about my earliest memory as a child. I'm 50. I'm thinking that early, I turned 50 this year. So my earliest memory, you just said that. It, what comes to mind is we lived in a house over on Normandy in Washington, which is like, I guess I don't know what they call that now, across you from a cemetery that's there. And one of my earliest memories is seeing the outline of the tombstones at night sometimes, the way the light would hit it right. sometimes, in our curtains. Oh wow! And I was, and we lived there when I was two years old to four. Wow! Yeah. I remember. I'm right now. I can picture it almost like I'm looking at. I'm looking at Brittany, but I'm uh -huh. like I'm looking at that outline at night of the um, of the cemetery, and we had a big. We had all these hardwood floors. We're talking 1972, 73, mm -hmm. I guess. And I, I, I'm, I'm like, that's the, I think that's the earliest. I remember being in that house with the hardwood floors. Mm -hmm. That's my, I think it's my earliest memory. I'm just thinking about that. Yeah. That's interesting. That's really cool. Yeah, it's great. And, you know, of course, we ask ethereal questions like, what are you most proud of? Uh, you know, do you have any regrets that you want to share? You know, um, it, it really depends on where you're at in your life. Um, how, long do you usually, how long do these usually take? Like, do you take them? Do you not, do you sit with the person in view and just once or do you do several sessions it's usually just one session okay and it's up to four hours and it's exhausting Woo! because Woo! it's emotional well, trust me i interview all the time i know yeah a lot of work. you, you kind of want the emotions to come well, out yeah, you want it you want to be able to capture that sweet if moment if you were a tree what tree would you be the same <laughs> um yeah no i mean no, no, see, you, you, want, you want them to feel everything so that it comes out as a better video of their whole life right so when their great great grandkids see that yeah. video they go oh wow that was my great great grandfather wow so then okay so with the legacy videos is it straight up just a video of them like a documentary of them talking or do you add things to it or take things we out absolutely of it? add things to it we add historical footage to okay. it if Good. you know if someone is is talking about um a particular time or place that was of significance so any kind of a war or um, any kind of historical significance, we add a historical footage to it if it's available. I guess if someone has videos, some people, some people have home videos. Oh, that uh, yes. Yeah, so the, yeah. Okay. And pictures, their home videos, their pictures. Um, absolutely, yeah. Well, then my question actually to lead into that is, what can you convert? Um, How's the question? Everything. Okay, so I mean, you could you could do slides. Everything. Okay. Okay. Real yeah. to real? <laughs> um, but no, I was like, so slides, Polaroids, pictures. Super A. This. Okay, okay. Film. Okay. You name it. Okay, good. Okay. That's a, that's a good question. I just saw that question. That's a yeah. good question. I wonder about that. Um, okay. So you're sitting there. They're talking. You insert stuff. You do all the editing yourselves, right? You do all the editing. We have editors. Okay. Yeah. You, got, you got editors. I'm it, the boss lady. Okay. She don't do it. I don't do that. Okay. <laughs> I don't do that. I don't do that. So, okay. So they do that. And then, how long does a legacy video take on average to complete? Like, you do, the, you do that to the completion, do you think? Um, it depends on how readily available their personal items are. Meaning, you know, have they had their photo scan and organized? Do they have all their videos and anything they want to include um, into the video? Is that digitized? But if we have everything organized and digitized, it's about a week. I was going to ask you, that's the thing I was going to ask you, so when should people come to you? To do one, 
When's the safe one? I mean, when, when, Tomorrow? I mean, I mean, of course, I mean, I, we rephrase the question. I mean, <laughs> We're like, open for business. They're ready. It's like, we can hire at any time. But I mean, in terms of like, okay, so my birthday is not mine. It's already passed. It's November 1st. When should someone come to you? About two months prior, it, it would be good, so we can kind of get to know the person. But you know, again, can we make it happen in three weeks? Probably. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's legitimate. Yeah. I like that she's an entrepreneur. She's like, anytime, call me. <laughs> no, because I mean, because that's that's people going to ask me like, well, then how far, how long does it take? Because I want to do one, I want to make sure I have enough time to get to gather this stuff, and that you sit and get to talk to the person, and, right, and stuff. Um, have you done a legacy video so far where, so are you doing the interviewing? I am, yeah. Have you, have you had any where you really like got caught up in it? I mean, like I've had a few interviews where I really felt, yeah. I was with it, that, I, I felt it and I got emotional and I was like, oh my God, I try to be very professional of course, but I wonder for you cause you're really talking, you're not on camera and you're talking to these people privately. I, I, I have to tell you, I really, I really feel in my heart every client project. I really do. Yeah. And, and this is why, this was my sort of heart hobby, I, I, I call I like it. That. I like that. And so I, you know, um, I had a big girl job before and now I'm just <laughs> following my heart hobby. Yeah, that's you know? like that girl job, yeah. So um, I absolutely, I feel, uh, yes, to answer your question. Right. That's a really great question. But it's, I mean, it must be, and as a person who interviews, I know that I have to be professional, but you also want to be present. That's right. In the interview. I, I know that. You want to make sure you're there. So, you know, you don't want to take away from the interview, but you also don't want to be, you're not, it's not about you anyway either, but right. you can't help your human. You can't help but right. feel, they say something that's really touching to feel it. Yeah. I mostly, did, with the films, I'm mostly the director. Okay. Um, and I, you'll never, you, you will rarely hear me in the videos. Okay. In fact, you, I never put myself in any other video. It's not about me. Right, right, right. Um, so, but if, let's say, I, I actually compose questions for grandkids to ask their okay. grandparents. Uh, and sometimes we get really funny. Sometimes we get a little risque. Like, oh, yeah. if they're comfortable, it's like, Grandma, when did you lose your virginity? Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, Granny. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to know that. Know. Don't want to know. Like, Some people want to ask that. Yeah, know. You know. Well, we're here, so obviously it happens. <laughs> but I, don't want, I don't want to know how or why. It's okay. But we, we sort of compose questions for children to ask their parents, for grandkids to ask their grandparents, um, for parents to ask their kids if they want to. Um, it's, it's great. It's a really great way. I to... never knew about legacy videos until, of all people, the Kardashians. Oh, Yeah. They did one. They had a, they had a, I don't. Okay, first of all, I don't watch the show. <laughs> I've seen a few over the years. Not a big fan, but I did see an episode where they were going to talk to uh, Chris's mother and do this whole kind of like legacy video with her and kind of the whole thing. There, so mm -hmm. I was like, I like that idea. I like the idea. Yeah. All my folks are dead now, so I guess I'm one of the oldest people. So I guess I should probably do one for my for my grandkids. Yeah. And I have to tell you guys, you know, just do one. You, right. Everyone has a phone. Most of us have a new-ish phone that that shoots in 4K video. It's still got an A. Don't forget, a. don't forget to clean the camera head. Yes, y'all. This is a camera head, and it gets dirty. <laughs> it get it has your fingerprint on it. It does. So clean the camera yes, head. It does. It um, does. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does. What does? I, I remind everyone, and this is also a camera head. This guy yes. for selfies. Yes. And if you have it against your face, yes. it's going to get dirty. <laughs> yes, it does. I'm always trying to clean, trust me. I always, I always, okay, I don't only have a cover on it. I just, I'm just i cleaning the cover right now, so I took it off. I've already dropped the phone like four times, but it's not great. Um, but that's great. I mean, I, that's great. You offer uh, legacy videos. You offer media management. Uh, what are some other services you offer? Uh, do I cover everything in terms of what you guys offer? Yeah, basically the, the digital organizing. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens to all the pictures? The what physical you, or yeah, the what digital? Do you, yeah, the physical. What do you what do you picture? They what do you think they should, people should do with them? Well, we put them in beautiful archival boxes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's more about that. It's like that's good. Because we want everyone to enjoy their photos. You know, when I deliver a project, I want my clients to text me and go, "Oh my God, this is amazing! I was able to go right to that month and look at my kid's fifteenth birthday photos." Yeah. You know, and now he's maybe forty five. Yeah. Right. All right. So right. I, you know, it's all about enjoyment and accessibility. So, it seems like pictures are one of the few things that everybody's into. Yeah. In life, like mm -hmm. we like we like food and stuff, but I mean, I've been thinking like pictures are just one of those little things that, again, 
paper clutter is big, as organizers know that. But picture clutter is big too. It's just yeah. like there's pictures, I mean, just everywhere. Especially digital. Yeah. We had a client that had um, over 1.5 million photos. Wow. It was, you know, she was really scared of losing him, so she duplicated them in all oh, these hard drives. Oh, my God. There was another scenario where a client didn't know that an SD card, that you could download the photos, so she had 70 SD cards. She would just oh, keep going God. and buying a new SD card when it got full. And she didn't realize that she can download it, delete what's on the SD right. card. Yeah. I mean, and, you know, and some people don't know that. They don't. Um, and so, wow. you know, we're not judgy. No, of course we, not. We, not we, not we accept all scenarios. Yes, definitely. With love yes. <laughs> and compassion. Yes, Compl completely. <laughs> completely. But a lot of people are like, oh, wait, what? I didn't need to get, you know, 70 SD cards or all these different external hard drives. <laughs> That is interesting, but I, mean, I guess that's what, that was the old way of doing it. You just you kind of like I'll just get a, I'll get an external hard drive and everything goes on there. So now your computer's clear, or your phone. Right. But yeah, they don't realize there's nothing you can do. And these phones, because I think it was 128 gigabytes, they hold a lot of stuff. They do hold a lot of stuff. Just make sure that you know you have some type of a iCloud or if you have a Google phone or an Android, you have some type of a backup system uh, for what's on your phone. And just remember that whatever is turned on on your phones, it's a sync. It's not a true backup, meaning if you delete something on your phone, it's going to get deleted from the cloud. Uh, you know, a, a true backup is for you to do a data dump, meaning dump all your your photos, which is what we really do for the clients is we gather everything. We, we do a yeah. data dump. And before we touch anything, we do two backups of it. And then we get to organize the digital stuff. That's smart, actually, just in case anything happens. <laughs> in case anything happens. And, you know, external hard drives, their, their lifespan is three to five years. So make sure that you date any external hard drives that you have. At least, you know, put the date on there so you know to check it between three and five years. Wow. And definitely switch it out after five years. Even if it's working, just switch it out. That's good to know. That's good to know. I, I didn't know. Actually, I didn't know that. It's even, the, it's even the, like, the nicer ones, still about three to five years. Probably the episode. the nicer ones, all of them, three yeah. to five years. Okay. Just please, do me a favor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go. To, I'm going to. I think some might are coming up on For three years. For the love of your stuff. <laughs> yes. I think some might are coming up on three years or anything at this point. So I should, I should like, look into that. I didn't know that. Actually, I didn't know that. Um, I, mean, I, I, I guess I should have known that, that things don't last forever, obviously. Right. Yeah. I mean, That's we think right. they do. But it's a moving don't. part. Right. That's, that's true. And mm -hmm. that's true. I mean, yeah, I, yeah. I should have known. I should have known that. <laughs> but see, I didn't. As people may not know that either. So that's a good idea. That's a good idea to tell people that. It's really good. They also do custom video montages too. We do. Yeah, those are really fun. I'm, I'm sure. And I'm sure. You know, we put photos and videos and we do montages. Uh, we love silly videos and photos. Okay. So don't throw those away. Yes. And <laughs> that's funny. Because those are the best. Is yeah. when you go, oh my God, that was so funny. When you know, uh, you know, it's it's great. Um, yes. Those are the best. Be silly. It's fine. Live life a little bit. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Um, so now, how's it working with your heart partner and being with your heart partner? How's that working? How's that together? How's that working for you guys? It's it has its challenges. I'm not gonna lie, um, because it's hard to really come up with. You know, I'm building a business and then you have to kind of set new boundaries as a sure. business owner, sure. you know, because it's like in working from home right now, you know, we eat three meals together <laughs> and it's like everything's together. Right right? right. right. But what's amazing is that, you know, I'm, I'm the builder of the business and I'm the digital uh, sort of guru and he's the preservationist because he knows scanning, um, he, he does all the scanning, and he okay. does all of that. Okay. So that's fine. Okay, so what is one thing that Alan brings to the table that really works for your business that you don't bring to the table? Uh, the, the, his love of scanning. Oh. I, I, honestly, <laughs> like, he is, he just, it, it's his, because he was a studio manager oh, in, in there advertising. Well, there you go. And that's what he did. I mean, he he built ads um, with his back in the day when yeah. you had to set type. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember that. Oh, yeah. And then it was like you know Adobe and oh, and yeah. Quark before yeah. Adobe. Oh my God, I remember that? Oh God. Remember that? Yeah, I do. Yeah. yeah. 
So, um, and, and that's his expertise is, yeah. you know, really digitizing all the, all the analog photogra photography wow. that they would do in advertising. He would wow. digitize that. Wow. And what do you think you bring that's kind of a major thing that, you know, to this, to this partnership? Beauty and bronze. There you go, kids. Okay, there you go. <laughs> done. I'm like, Innovation. Done. Done. <laughs> done. I saw, so you're an ideas person. I am. I'm the same way. I'm the, I'm the strategist. Yeah. Well, That's I'm the same right. Way. Yeah. Well, I idea. I love cooking things up. That's right. I love yeah. collaborations, and I love like talking to people. Like, how can you figure this out? I love that kind. Of, I love that process. That's right. Yeah. Not, not everybody likes that process. Some folks like to just tell me what to do, and I do it. Yeah. I get bored. Yeah. You know, it's like okay, now figure this out. Maybe I can hire someone, teach them, so I can go figure out the next thing. <laughs> I like that. I do. So you guys been in business how long? Three years. Congratulations. Thank that's you. Good. That's yeah. good. Thank you. That's, that's good. I was like, hello, folks. Three years doing that. What is, now as you look back, what is one thing uh, you wish you knew when you started? Did you know now? Um, really how hard it is to have your own business. Yeah, that's hard. It's, 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 it's so constant. hard. It's constant. Everything. It's constant. It's constant. It's everything. It's, yeah. it's all of it. But it's also what makes me feel proud, right? Because it's mine. So it's, mm -hmm. it's what I put in it is. What, what I get out of it. I like that. I'm going to take our last break of the evening. Another new song from moi. This is the uh, Extra Connections on the After Party. We'll be right back. The world I want one is positive. The space I'm in is gratitude. People I need are supportive, the air of breathing provides The food I eat is nourishing, the ground I stand on is strong. The yard I'm garden is replenishing, the home I'm in is safe. The people I call into my life are educating, my mentors I have are inspiring, my colleagues are restoring, my faith in what I'm doing. I am ready for success, I have success, I am ready. Success is living my dream every day, success is taking small steps. The water I drink is refilling, the work I do is fulfilling, the clients I have are thrilling, my life is good. I don't look for what I don't have, I don't see the things aren't there. There is no missing, everything I need is here. I am the traffic, I am the noise, I am the buzz, I am one of the many that fills the spaces. I will keep my language upbeat, I will hold my head up high. My intentions be kind to everyone. The dog is just smiling and saying hi. I will act with compassion and care. I will think with kindness and respect. People should be nice, nice with an arm. Maybe I can't affect. What? This is easy. This can be done. I'm going to uplift, starting with this song. This is easy. This can be done. Going to uplift, starting with this song. And we are back. Extra connections, extra connections, extra connections, extra connections. I'm James Law Jr. And now it's time. To play our game with the dice, the die. I think die, yeah, die is one. And so what she's going to do, you're going to do is going to roll it, kind of hopefully flop it on here gently. Okay. And then, to, and then I'll have you answer the question that it lands on. <gasps> so just, oops, oh. So right. no whammy, no whammy. Okay. Okay. Something I'm really good at is? Cooking. Oh, really? Okay, so... I'm sure you probably make you some good cooking, don't you? I, mm -hmm. I can throw down. I need to come over and have some dinner, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can. I like, I like, I like, I like sound. You see her too. She's like, pretty like her too. Okay, so what is, what are, so you must do traditional. No, I'm fusion. You know, I, I sort of open the kitchen and I'm like, okay, inspire me. And oh, wow. something kind of great. My mother was a gourmand. Okay. That really helps. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> you know, it really, uh, it, it it made my palate your very, palate yes very refined yes how oh, funny and what are, what are some things that are your go tos that you fish. like fish I'm I'm like fish. a master at fish see I need some like I don't I'm not a good fish cooker yeah so I, and I love I'm, a, I'm basically a pescatarian most of the time I love fish 
So, um, the secret to fish is undercooked on overcook. Oh, really? Yes. Take it off the pot, take it out of the oven, take it off the grill before you think you should. Oh, I never thought that before. I guess that's my problem. <laughs> so, yeah, it's interesting. Okay. One more? Yeah, just do a couple more. Oh, you guys. Okay, here. That one. I feel brave when. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I feel brave when I have spoken my truth. Ooh. Do you feel you speak your truth um, frequently? Yes. It's something that I've always strived in life, and it was hard for me. Um, but, you know, you, t you take that risk, and you speak your truth, and you – maybe maybe some people don't like it, but it really – it's not even – it's what resonates inside that you're like, oh, I just honored myself. So it, it gives me a lot of courage. How and did it, you get there? So people are going to be like, how, how does she get there? How, does she, how, how can you do it? Um, you know, you really, I think everyone knows in their gut what's best for them. And it's just really listening to your gut. And I agree, I agree especially as a woman, you know, there's so many things that are thrown at us. So we, there's so much self doubt, you know, there's your image of what do I look like? What do I sound like? How am I walking? Am I too thin? Am I too short, you know, am I too whatever. Right, all right. And, you know, you just have to peel those layers away and go, oh, wait, I, I know what, what I am inside and start speaking from that. I like that. I know, we yeah, women, you know, a lot, you know, more, way more than men do. <laughs> um, but, I, but I wonder, for me, I know for me, um, getting older, just living life. Yes. I care less <laughs> and care more at the same time. Right. You care more in the right places, yes. and I have, yeah. It, you know, I also just turned fifty. See, woo, woo. this is what fifty looks like. Okay, look at look at her. Look at her. See, we need to understand this. When I bring folks in here, she's like, "How old are they?" She has no idea. She's always shocked when I bring people in here. See, J Lo, Jennifer Aniston, all of us. We're fifty. We're all fifty. Yep. My mama got good genes. See, that's all I'll tell you, folks. Mm -hmm. Got olive skin. But it's great. Yeah. You know, you just, you know, you let go of, uh, you embrace the letting go. You know, I've just embraced it. And it's like, you know, what do I want to invite in my life? Who do I want to invite in my life? Who do I want to hang out with? You know, we all have the same 24 hours. Yes, we do. And it, it's like, how do we want to spend it? I love that. And I think you said something that's really key. Who do I want in my life? Who are you? I remember my friend telling me years ago, oh, when you get older, your circle gets smaller. What are you talking about? I got tons of friends. Yes. We've friends forever. Quantity really mattered in our 20s. It like, did. I want to have 800 friends. friends. And we're going to all hang out together. We're going to do everything together. Oh, my God. Them. I love you all. And we fight together. And we love together and all stuff. But then you really do realize after and, a while. And you're depleted. Right. And, you know, it, you know and I, I was that person. I was you know, I'm, I'm naturally an extrovert. Same so, here. Same here. So having a lot of friends was really important to me because I always wanted to do things and be places. But it, it, it's, it's, you're not connecting to the self and no. to that truth. Yeah. So. I like that. That's a good answer. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. Oh, okay. One way I like to help others is... Meet them where they are and what see mean? what they need. So a lot of times, you know, um, helping others is, you know, you have to come from an angle of what, what is it that's best for them, not necessarily what I think is right, best for them. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to meet them where they are. Some people, um, so I, I, I don't know if I'm answering the no, question. No, you're answering. Okay, so, I'll, so I'll, I'll, I'll expand on that. I like that. So the thing is, Everyone's at a certain station in life. Yeah. So what you're trying to do is you're recognizing it, you're seeing it, and you're going to them, not trying to bring them, you know, to your to your station or right. this station. Right. You're like, I'm coming to you. Yes. I see where you are, and I can kind of meet you there. Right. And then we can go from there. Like, what is it you need? Yeah. From? I'm I'm trying to eliminate the word should in my yes. life. Like, okay. you should do this. Yes. You know, a lot of times when we come to help someone, it's like, well, you know, you really should, you yeah, know, yeah. and I'm trying to eliminate that and, and kind of feel like what is best for that person or for that scenario. 
And I really bring that to my clients as well. I think that's really important. One thing that I learned, because I'm a certified life coach, one thing I learned in life coach school, um, I, I, I took out the word why when I talk to people. Right. Like, why do you do that? Even if you don't mean it as anything bad, you still get a little defensive, like, well, I'm a grown, I can do whatever I can do whatever the F right, I want, right. you know, like that thing. So <laughs> I stopped saying why. I stopped saying that. I just find out that before somebody <laughs> told me that. Then I also started saying, I invite you. Mm. That yeah, I works. like that. I invite you to look at yourself. If someone tells me they're upset, I don't like you having the wrong men, I'm like, well, I invite you to look at that. Like, just, I, instead of saying, well, you know what you should have did. You know right, what I mean? Right. You, know, like, you, don't, you, don't, you don't do that. It's like, okay, just, I invite you to look at, like, well, why your last four men all seem to be this way? You know, maybe you should look at that. Look at why, like, look at why that is happening. Not right. why are you doing this, but look at why this is happening. Right, right. And, you know, um, the other great thing is my experience of you is, it's, I'm not saying that you are mm, right. blank. <laughs> right, right. I'm just yeah, saying yeah. it's my experience of you. Yes, right. <laughs> and it's, it's actually a really powerful statement because uh, I do use both I invite you and my experience of you is. I like that. And it's, it's hard to really rem- remember that and, and practice it, but um, I've, as, like you, I've crossed that threshold yeah. where I can actually put it in use. Yes. We're because adults now. We're adults. We're adulting. We're big. We're 50. Yeah, so we really are adults. <laughs> Can't play that off anymore. I told, I, I told folks, after I, when I turned 30, is when I realized that what was cute in my 20s isn't cute anymore in my 30s. And when I turned 40, actually, I love turning 40. I had a good time at 40. Um, I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to change my whole life. I'm like, I'm whatever yes. once was is once was. That's right. Turning 50 this year was a very interesting thing for me because, as many of you guys, long time viewers know, I was sick last year. So I came out of that and I've also lost a lot of weight. And I'm just like, I'm feeling better. And I'm like, and you know, and screw all y'all, I'm 50, I'm back. You know, I'm gonna <laughs> do what I want. Um, and so it's kind of like, I really feel like at 50, in some ways, it's a, it's a number. It's a number in some ways. But in some ways, it is kind of like, yeah, I'm an adult. I mean, there's, there's no playing now. I'm really, I really am an adult. That's right. Just like it's, I mean, you know, it's almost like a new slate. I, I, I feel yeah. like fifty is like an, a new canvas. It is. I think so. It's like you know, I've accomplished so much in my yes. life. Yes. I have all these experiences. I, I, I know that I have a lot of wisdom. It's not that I'm like, do I have wisdom? No, I right. know I have wisdom. Right. Right. And now, what do I want to do with that? Yes. How do I want to play with that? You know, how do I want to share that? How do I want to yeah. give from that? Mm-hmm. How do I want to incorporate it into my work? That's right. Yeah, it's exciting. As you said, it's very true. It's very much like I don't have to guess anymore what I know. I know what I know. Yeah. We've lived long and just we just lived long enough right. and experienced enough. Hopefully, we've had some life. Um, we experienced enough that there are things we just we just know. Right. We didn't get here by osmosis. We got here from experience. And hopefully, you trust that. You know. Yeah, that's, that's that too. Hopefully, you trust it. There are folks I know who don't. Yeah, meditation. Prayer, yeah, yeah, praying helps a lot too. Yeah, it does. And you got, yeah. you, but you have to trust yourself that you know what you know. That's right. Because you lived it. You have examples. You can go back. You have examples, and you know what you know. And now it's the time for us to really make something new out of it. And like I said, for my business, for my personal life, what I want to do with what I know. Yeah. I like, I like that. Last one. Let's see if there's a last in there. one. Mm. Oh, the orange. Oh, I, I like this. This is always a fun one. But my last guest gave a really good answer to this one. So <gasps> pressure on you. I'm kidding. Right. Yeah, I guess he gave, he gave a very interesting answer. It's kind of funny. <laughs> the best compliment I ever received is? Um, I actually just received this. I, I, I have a stepdaughter, and um, she literally, during my birthday celebrations, she sort of took me aside. This was the first time. I mean, I know she loves me, and I love her. We've yeah. been in each other's lives for six and a half years. Okay. And she lost her mom when she was almost 13. Oh, so it was okay. really a really difficult pe- okay. period in a girl's life to uh, lose her yes. mom. And it was her best friend, and she didn't have siblings. Oh, but she, okay. she took me aside, and she said, you really, you've given me so much love, and the direction that you've given me, you've never judged me, and the direction you've given me has been so instrumental in me finding my way and helping myself. And it was just like, it filled my heart. So yeah. that was the best compliment oh. that I've received that I can I know, like, well, it's so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> I know, it's, that's so cute. That's really, it was that's great. Really nice. It's really nice. It really was really touching. I was yeah. very grateful for that. Yeah. 
out of the mouths of babes. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like that's the, the best name. compliments comes from the little, little ones. They're ser- no, seriously, they're honest. When the little ones talk, you're like, oh, yay, I've done something right. <laughs> they'll tell you. They'll tell you. They will tell you. It's, it's all truth. It's all truth. All my little nephews and nieces, I love them. They, they tell you the truth. Yeah. There's no filter. My favorite humans are the little ones and the older ones. <laughs> me, too, me too. Me too. Everybody else will good luck to you guys. But yeah, you're good. You're good, Brittany. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good, you're good Brittany. The, the adults, yeah, they kind of fall in the gray area. Yeah, a lot of them get on my nerves too. But yeah, the kids, animals, kids, and old people, I love it. And I love old people. I do. I, I, work, with, I work with a lot of older people, and I do. I love it because they just have such an interesting way of looking. They're almost like kids again. Yes. But ways. they have the wisdom. They have the wisdom. Mm-hmm. The village. I always say this. We're all part of the village. That's you're part right. of my village. You're part of my, we come from village mentality. Yes. Where the, we, the elders are revered and the young ones we help bring up and everybody in between does their part. That's right. I love that. And you have pictures. Pictures, 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 pictures everywhere. Yeah. Get your pictures organized and preserved. It's really important. Tell people where they can find you on all the social medias, your company and stuff, so we can, so they can uh, look for you and stuff. We control. are sort of, kind of, sort of, yeah, on get, Instagram. Yes, you've got to get a little better on that. I know, sort of, kind of, sort of. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I actually have decided on Instagram that I'm going to tell my story, so I started with the very first picture of me. So cute. It's so <laughs> cute. You know, it's so cute. And, um, and then I, I do have to get better with the social yes. media. But we are on Facebook, and we're yes. on Instagram. And I will be. You're a picture company. You should be I'm showing a picture pictures. Company. Especially, especially on, especially on Instagram. It's all pictures. <laughs> well, I, I invite you <laughs> to do that. I think it's good. But that picture is usually cute. I, I commented on it. I think Thank it's really you. Cute. So thank you. But they're on there. They're on there. And I'll post all the stuff on the social media, on my social media pages. So you can go there to them. And I'll post their website too. I think I posted your Facebook page on our page. But I did. I think, well, I'll do more. Make sure it's on there so you can just click. Make it easy for you to say. Click over. Now, they are based here in Los Angeles, but we want to mention something about if you're not here in L.A., right? Yeah. Uh, if you're not here in L.A., that's not a problem. You can reach us, and we can figure out a way to work together. That's not a problem at all. Okay. That's right. That's right. We have clients in Northern California and in New York. Okay. Oh, very good. Okay. Yeah. Very good. So, it can be, it can be done. So, I just want to say, if you're listening, because I have a lot of people listening to this and watch this from other places, still contact her. And she'll work. She'll work something out with you. We'll work it out together somehow. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you so Goodbye, much so for fast. having me. Oh, yes, that's it. That's this it. is great. <sighs> so fun. So, so back. fun. She'll be back again. Don't worry, we'll be back again. <laughs> and maybe I'll do a little project with her, and then we'll do a bail on the show. That's what it is. So just, just stay tuned with that. Um, this, of course, the after party is on all social media platforms at T H A after party on I G Facebook. Um, on Instagram, I mean Twitter, they're on After Party West. You can go there and you can see right. You can just click it there and and follow this show and all the other shows we do here. Um, in a little nice little building by the freeway, something like that by the freeway mm-hmm, over here. <laughs> a lot of shows over there, and then of course you can follow me. We're all James Lott Juniors are sold at James Lott Junior on all social media platforms. If I say that every time, um, and then of course Next Connection Show is on Facebook. Wherever you find the After Party, wherever you find Picture Lee, wherever you find Extra Connections, wherever you find James Lott Junior. Like, follow, subscribe, whatever those buttons are, subscribe, um, whatever, just, just do it. And share with your friends. If you see this podcast and this, this thing, you're like, hmm, my friend has pictures, share it. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Just do it. <laughs> do it. I, you have my endorsement. You have her endorsement. Yes. Just do it. Just do it, of course. Picture leaves the company. I'm James I. Jr. Now, next week, actually, is Annabelle. She'll be here, and we'll be talking music. I'm so excited. And in two weeks, A.J. Gibson. You may know his name. He subbed at Wendy Williams' show as a host. And he has a book out called Flipping the Script. He's like 6 feet 20. He'll be in here with us on the third. So I have some good guests coming up. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your week. We'll see you next time. Thank you, everyone. Bye. After the show, it's the after party then. After the party, it's the hotel lobby then. After the Belby, then it's probably Chris. And after the original, it's probably this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Remix with the homie from the...